So looking forward to this one, Casey Delac with the uh, top seed. He's had to uh, bide her time. Some uh, big matches before her today. First time in her career that she is the number one seed at a tournament taking on uh, Lauren Davis of the United States. Is it ranked uh, 54 in the world? Casey, of course, getting to a high of uh, 26 and uh, finishing the year ranked uh, 29. Made the uh, dash across from uh, Perth, having played at the Hopman Cup, representing Australia last week. And uh, hoping to find some great form heading towards the Australian Open, where she had a great run last year, making the fourth round. But a fantastic story for Casey Delacqua in 2014. What a rise from 141 in the world to a high of 26, a really good consistent year by Casey. And she starts the favourite here in this match. We'll uh, get a rundown in just a moment of the uh, two players who are about to go into battle. First uh, number, the world number 29, Casey Delacqua. In 2014, she entered the top 30 for the first time and reached the semis in Birmingham, the quarters at Indian Wells and Tokyo. She started the season at 142, reaching a high of 26. She's currently the world 29. Casey Delacqua, the number one seed at the Hobart International 2015. Her opponent is number 52 in the world. She finished last season at 57, and she did finish 2014 in 57, but she's now world number 52. She made the quarters at Auckland, Eastbourne, and Osaka. She made her top 50 debut in July of last year, rising to a high of 44. Please put your hands together for Lauren Davis from the United States. Casey still looking for her first win on the WTA Tour. She's won uh, 22 ITF titles. And she'd love it to be here in uh, Hobart this week as the uh, top seed. As mentioned, just a really good, consistent 2014. Getting some uh, valuable points at big tournaments. A couple of the majors making the fourth round. It was a great run she had at uh, Indian Wells back in March of last year, making the uh, quarterfinals and uh, worth uh, some very good rankings points. Uh, Lauren Davis, well, certainly has improved her ranking over the last uh, four years. We first saw her as a very young girl in that first round match she played against Sam Stozer at the Australian Open game back about five years ago. And she was just 16. And uh, Sam blew her away on that particular day. But since then, she's carving out a very good career. As you can see, not big in stature, but a very powerful backhand, very strong in the lower core and She's a great competitor, rising up to uh, the mid 50s. Her best performance at Grand Slam level came in 2014, the third round of the Australian Open, and also at Wimbledon. Casey Delacqua has been one of the, the great stories in Australian tennis in the last uh, 12 months. We go back to 2013 where she had a, a great run with Ash Barty making a couple of major finals but really wanted to focus on her singles career at the start of 2014 and make the most of it. 
for some mum off the court. Just in really good headspace. Casey, in the last 12 months, and she's got her rewards. few extra fans starting to file in here knowing that uh, the top seed is in action One as we took over just after five o'clock in the afternoon here in Hobart the night session to get underway at seven tonight Three matches under her belt at the Hopman Cup last week. Didn't record a victory. Not so important. Just to get some match play under her belt, but the season really cranks up here to put the final touches on preparations for the Australian Open. And every player wants to go into the first major with some good winning form. So all the matches complete on the uh, outside courts uh, today. First round uh, matches. We've still got the two first round matches to come during the night session tonight. So Serena Diaz, the number two seed. Bayana Chovanovsky, Alison Risk, Heather Watson, Anika Beck, Roberta Vinci, Joanna Larson, the qualifier, Camilla Giorgi, Katarina Kozlova, also a qualifier, and Karen Knapp, the Italian, all getting through today to the second round. So Lauren Davis to get us underway. Against Australia's Casey Delacqua in this first round match. Davis' ranking over the last uh, five years has gone from 437 to 319 to 94 to 72 to 57. So it's been on the rise. Only 157 centimetres. But, uh, steering at three break points here. As you just saw that backhand. It's got some punch behind it. If she can get it into play. It's going to be a weapon for her, but Cassie the Lacqua looking to really pounce here on the serve. Oh. And, uh, 
So that's a good break for Casey it's Delacqua. Towel. It's been the theme of the day, the battle of the serve. As you can see with Lauren Davis, points are up and running. Plenty of ferocity behind those ground strokes. hitting from both players. So where she goes here, Casey. Traditionally nice to get that slider going out wide. Just not finding the service box at the moment. Still one break point opportunity. A good recovery by Casey Delacqua. Certainly on, in trouble on her serve and digs herself out of trouble. Delacqua, eight years the senior of Lauren Davis. This time in 2014, she had a top 30 finish. 
Casey. Just goes to show you tennis journey can take off at any time. This is certainly going to be the tough part of the match for Lauren Davis. Once she's into the rallies, her ground strokes are very solid. But, uh, certainly battling early here on the serve. So Casey Delacqua in a commanding position here in the opening set. Real battle on serve for Lauren Davis. That's the issue for it right now. Struggling with a little bit of the wind and just a service action trying to get to a rhythm. to have you with us here at the Domain Tennis Centre in Hobart as we work our way through the first round matches for this year's Hobart International. Hashtag Hobart Tennis. If you want to join the conversation on Twitter. All the news, of course, at hobartinternational.com.au. In regard to the results... From today, the order apply. You can check that out a little bit later on for tomorrow. And all the uh, storylines coming out of the uh, 22nd edition. This fantastic tournament. 21 different winners over the years. No one's been able to win it twice.
Really open the shoulders there, Casey. It's her favourite shot. Game point here for four love. Well played here by Davis. Chance to break the uh, Delacqua serve. Applied. Just changes things a little bit. You break a serve against the flow. The power generated off both wings, but that back end certainly is a real weapon and uh, one of the key reasons why Lauren Davis is. Continued to rise up the rankings over the last uh, five years. Just whether she can get some good value on this serve. There's one more ball, thank you. having to change 
direction, losing her footing. It was smart play by uh, Delacqua. Okay, well inside that M baseline to take that second serve. But, uh, once that ball's in play, she's up against a, a good competitor here in Lauren Davis. Yeah, plenty of frustration for the uh, American with her serve. striker once that play swings into motion and Casey knows once the ball's in play she's up for a fight here trying to really make that initial strike that initial connection on the day the serve really count She had the right intentions but didn't execute and Davis does hold. Delac was still at the break. 3-2 here in the opening set. She jumped out of the blocks winning the first three games and uh, Lauren Davis is able to pick her back here. Final match of our day session. So we tick just past uh, 5.30 in the afternoon here in Hobart. Of course, uh, three Australian ladies inside the top 100 in women's tennis and Apart from Casey, the other two in Stam, Sam Stozer and Yumila Gaidasova both uh, getting a couple of very good wins up in Sydney Hi. today at the uh, Apier International. Taking out two very good opponents in uh, Lucy Safarova and Andrea Pekovic.
Casey looking to become the first Australian here in Hobart to get through to the second round. With that Storm Sanders and Libya Rogoska beaten earlier. now realising she's got to come up with something pretty good yeah, here yeah. to get past Davis once the rally unfolds the ball coming back from Davis really making Delacqua having to go for something a little bit extra that's the serve she loves that little slider out wide no chance of a record on that Variety with the serve down the tee. Now Davis with a break point. Get it back to three all. We certainly didn't see this about 10 minutes ago. At the moment, Casey has just lost her way. Credit to Davis as well. She's competing. So she eventually holds to lack an important hold. Won the first three games of this opening set. Davis grabbing the next two, and that's a good hold for Delacqua just to maintain that buffer.
Great shot. Took it at that backhand hey. before the game. That is powerful. It's a big weapon. able to obtain any free points on that first serve or the serve generally so she needs to be strong off the ground and she's competing there's no doubt about that Certainly coming, second serve, set right up in the hitting zone and she loves playing that shot, Casey. So break point here for That's a beautiful shot. Gee, the backhand might be arrived, but the forehand's not too bad either. Well played by no. Davis. Holds her serve. Generating some good power off the ground. Pretty much plays from the baseline. We know Casey, a very competent doubles player, likes to uh, get in, but there's not a lot of openings once the play is underway for Delacqua to get into the net. She's been pushed right back on the baseline. Lauren Davis still, though, Delacqua with the break here in the opening set. Four games to three. <coughs> Final day match here on this Monday. You can get involved with us. Hashtag Hobart Tennis. Follow the conversation on uh -huh. Twitter as the news is unfolding.
The uh, order of play uh, released for tomorrow. We'll have three matches we'll be bringing you here on uh, centre court. Jonah Larson of Sweden up against uh, Karumi Nara of Japan. Followed by Heather Watson up against uh, Sloane Stevens. Beautiful shot at the line from Davis. Probably deserves more than just some uh, light applause. Certainly the fans here keen to see Casey get through to the second round and beyond. And then uh, following Watson and Stevens, we'll have Roberta Vinci up against Anika Beck. So that will be the three games we'll be bringing you during the day tomorrow. And tomorrow night, Camilla Giorgi, the Italian. The third seed here taking on uh, Kaya Kanepi. That will be the night match. So she eventually holds Casey Delac with the top seed, 5-3 now in the opening set.
Example of that great backhand of Davis just trying to stay alive here in this opening set. So Davis will make uh, Casey Delacqua with a serve for the opening set. Certainly some frustration for Casey during that ninth game. She's been under a fair degree of pressure by Davis in this uh, first set. If you're just joining us, she got out to a uh, three-love lead, Delacqua. Davis certainly has struggled a bit on her own serve, but once the ball's been in motion, she has competed toe-to-toe -to -toe with Delacqua in terms of uh, the heaviness of the ground strokes. Very good off that backhand wing. Had a couple of good forehand winners as well, so she's got an appetite for the contest and very evident why she's been able to rise into the uh, top 60 of women's tennis. But taking that next jump is... Uh, Certainly the hardest. Done. Still beautiful sunshine here in uh, Hobart. A couple of 
hours at least. About two and a half hours of daylight on this Monday. Casey Delacqua looking to close out the opening set. 5-4. Oh. Fantastic point. <laughs> Hung in Delacqua. It's on the defensive and then was able to get to the net. Just had to stay alive there for a, a period. Davis throwing everything but the kitchen sink at the number one seed. Making a ruin this first set. So three set points now for Delacqua. Great shot. Shot of the day. Well, it was a much talked about backhand coming into this match. Unleashed. Still one set point up his sleeve. He made to earn it here, Casey. Set. Six games to four. What a battle. Served a couple of aces in that opening set, Casey. It's one feature we're not going to see probably from Lauren Davis's game. But she did serve eight double faults, uh, Davis, in that opening set. So that's a major issue for her going forward. 
61% of her first serves, Casey Delac, were going in. 54% for uh, Lauren Davis. When her first serve does go in, Davis, she's able to win 67% of the points. So once that ball's in motion in the rally, she's been, uh, been very, very good. Only winning 28% though of her second serves. The number one seed takes the opening set here. Six games to four. Cracking Hobart day. That wind has uh, died right down here at court level for the moment.
So long from uh, Delacquit. Davis, an important hold for her to start this uh, second set. Still Casey, the top seed, leading at one set to love. The night session coming up tonight. Daniela Antikova up against uh, Richelle Hogenkamp of the Netherlands. Qualifier. Antikova, of course, played in Auckland last week and lost in the second round. Hogenkamp fell in the uh, second round of qualities in Brisbane but has made her way through to the main draw here in Hobart. She was playing at home. Lauren Davis, she'd be getting um, probably a bigger round of applause for some of her shots, which have been absolutely brilliant. in good hustle yeah the couple of break points and uh, she's got the early advantage that's the top seed and the crowd. Clearly in the camp of Casey Delacqua. Two games to love. Start of this second set. Beautiful shot. Three quarter finals on the tour for Davis last year. Auckland Eastbourne and also Osaka.
So the breaks to serve continue. Certainly been an entertaining match in terms of the ball striking of both players. We've always known how competent Casey Delacqua is in that area. Watching uh, Lauren Davis uh, live here, sort of following her results around the tour in 2014. And the development of her game. Certainly, the serve is uh, a little bit of a hindrance of her really pushing forward as we look for that next group of players to jump into the sort of top 30. She did get as high as uh, 43 in July of last year, Davis. Her ball striking today has been about as good as anyone. Clear good by the lines person. Casey trying to appeal to the chair and pie that it went long and I say we're sitting right over the top of that line. Looked to be a fraction out, but that's the call. once again playing close to the lines and she uh, continues to have the advantage in this second set three games to one Casey Delacquette just trying to find some form in the early part of the year
So Davis muttering away now with his second set, 4-1. Been a good effort here by the American. Yeah, she's lost her way at the moment here. Casey Delacqua and uh, Lauren Davis on her way to winning this second set. She's not keeping enough balls in play, Casey, at the moment. But uh, full credit to Lauren Davis. She has certainly competed things on her terms at the moment. Serving here for the second set.
Pulled the trigger a fraction too early there. Couple of set points for Lauren Davis to square things up here in this first round match. It's barnstormed her way through this second set. And another unforced error from Casey Delacqua. So a set of piece here on centre court. We're going to a third. The top seed, Casey Delacqua, with the work ahead of her. Josephine, can you go to the bathroom with her? Recapping the players that have moved through to the second round today. Karen Knapp of Italy. There was an Italian trifecta with uh, Camilla Giorgi and also Roberta Vinci. Katerina Kozlova, the qualifier, getting past uh, Kirsten Flipkins of Belgium. Joanna Larson, courtesy of the retirement of Zing of China, getting through to the next round. Anika Beck, also Heather Watson, Alison Risk, her opponent, fellow countrywoman uh, Christina McHale had to pull out of their match, injured. Bayana Jovanovski getting through and uh, Zarina Diaz, the number two seed from uh, Kazakhstan, all through to the uh, second round a little bit earlier today. Shannon Nettle. Affectionately known as Stinger, just having a chat to Casey at the end of this second set for her to try and regroup. And she knows she, she is certainly in with a fight against a, a girl who is a very good ball striker, and Lauren Davis. tough to back out what you've done the previous year what a rise it was in 2014 from 141 in the world at 26 and now in 2015 she tries to maintain her spot in the top 30 and it's no easy assignment there's a lot of good players coming up underneath Davis just uh, taking an extended break at the end of this uh, second set. So the third set to get underway very shortly here from Hobart for the night session to follow.
start to the third set just what she needed just to get the confidence back Casey get it back into the groove a long time to think about what had unfolded in that second set at the sit down a chat to her coach the bandage of uh, serving first in this uh, decider
set for a real arm wrestle in this uh, third set.
important hold here for the top seed. She's got a battle on her hands. No oh, easy points. Great shot. Really pouncing on the serve. She was doing early in the match when she won that first set, Casey Delacqua. Here's the opening. Gets another look at a second serve here. opportunity Too good.
misses again to Lacqua. So Davis continues to hold her serve. It was always going to be a tough matchup once the draw was uh, released. Like call. Still two game points here for three two. shot cross court forehand winner Who knows in front the top seed? <laughs> On a day where the matches have been far from straightforward. Three Australians today involved in three setters. Unfortunately, either uh, Storm Sanders or Olivia Rigosfa successful in going through to the next round. And Casey Delac with a real fight on her hands here to advance.
So we've got Lauren Davis just off the court at the moment. Receiving a medical timeout. With uh, Casey Delacqua leading things here. Three games to two. session will be uh, delayed here in Hobart. It was due for a 7 o'clock start. It's uh, currently 5 to 7 in the evening, wherever you might be viewing our pictures around the world. And certainly some long matches on this Monday. So Lauren Davis back out, right to go. Delac was still on serve. Leading at 3-2 here in this third and deciding set.
So now a break point for uh, Delacqua. Davis asking the uh, chair umpire if it should overrule, but on that uh, first serve, but declared too close. But with the call of the lines person. the break for Casey. Huge opportunity now at Well, it's a clean winner again from Davis. Gets the break back. Delacqua still with the advantage 4-3.
great fight here from Lauren Davis. She will not go away. Gets it back to four all in this uh, third set. Another good serve. Quick service game. 5 4. She edges closer to the second round. Just needing another break of serve. Casey Delac with the top seed. Looking to fight every inch of the way to get through to the next round here in Hobart. So Lauren Davis serving to stay alive in this third and deciding set. Casey Dlack were looking for a break of serve to get through to the second round.
Wide sets up a match point. And she does it. It's certainly a battle. The top seed survives here in Hobart. 6-4, one 6-4. Casey Delacqua will make her way into the second round. And she'll take on the Italian, Karen Knapp, who got through earlier today. And well done to Lauren Davis as she uh, makes her way off court. Quite a great match. We'll hear from uh, Casey Courtside in just a few moments. She served two aces for the match. 12 double faults. For Lauren Davis, that was a, a bit of a telling factor, but off the ground she was outstanding. Let's go courtside. We're going to hear from the winner, Casey Delacqua. Put your hands together for Casey, the number one seed. What a win. Now, Casey, there's a little bit of a treat for this young lady here, Charlotte. She is a fellow left-hander. Now, she had to listen to my last interview, and she said, look, you're rubbish. You're no good. I need, I need, to, I need to go out and uh, interview Casey Delacqua. So... Here she is, Charlotte Ingram. Um, what's your favourite thing about Hobart so far? Um, yeah. <laughs> um, I've been to Hobart quite a few times actually and um, I really enjoy it here. Um, we had Fed Cup earlier last year and I've played this tournament numerous times but my favourite thing about Hobart is I think, um, I think just the, the vibe, the people, the fact that you have nice, beautiful, fresh air and you feel like you come here and you can just get away from everything. And, um, yeah, I always have a really great time. And, um, yeah, I just think it's just the people, I think, that are, are really good. For you, what does a normal day consist of? Um, well, the last couple of months I've had a big training block because we've had, like, off-season. So I finished my... Um, 
season about middle of October, so my days consisted of just a lot of training, but um, on top of the training was also things like recovery, massage, and sometimes the stuff that's a bit boring, but you have to do, especially when you get old like me. So um, yeah, just a bit of combination of everything, but now we're in tournament mode. It's focuses, you know, around trying to get as many matches as I can, and um, again, focusing on recovery and um, trying to be in the best frame of mind to, to play all my matches. And when you're not playing tennis, what do you like to do? Um, I just like to hang out with my family and, um, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty easygoing. I like to go to the beach and um, every now and then watch a movie. But, um, yeah, other than that, just mainly hang out with my family and friends. Thank you. What about that, everyone? Nice work. It's a big moment for it. Young girl asking the hard questions. Casey Delacqua gets through. That completes uh, the day session here on centre court. And uh, what a long day it's been. Some big matches. Camilla Georgie, it seems like a lifetime ago, the Italian who defeated Storm Sanders in three sets. Roberta Vinci, the Italian, in three sets over Olivia Rogoska. Karen Knapp, the Italian, in straight sets over Isla. Tom Jonovic of Croatia and uh, Casey Delacqua getting home in three sets over Lauren Davis of the United States. All the other matches on the outside courts complete, so we've only got the two to come tonight to complete round one action. The night session to be led by Daniela Huntakova, the former world number five, 62 in the world. She'll go up against the Dutch qualifier, Richelle Hogan Camp. And then it'll be uh, Madison Bringle, the qualifier from the United States, to take on Mona Barthel, the champion back here in 2012. So we'll be bringing you the night session in the next uh, little while. It's uh, been a big day so far, unfortunately. Two of the Australians bowing out, but uh, the good news is that the top seed stays in the tournament. Casey Delacqua getting her first win for 2015 after losing all three matches at the Hopman Cup last week. We'll be back soon with the night session here from Hobart.